Okay, so now I'm actually in the Designer Plus software, but those of you with the Creator level will have these two tools as well, the Ellipse tool and the Rectangle tool. So before we use the Open object and the Closed object um, to manually digitize objects, but you can also create a perfect circle or an, an oval or a square or an, or a rectangle. So I'm just going to show you how to use those two tools. So as I said, in Creator Level, you've got those two tools in your digitized toolbox as well. So let's start with the circle. Um, and that can be an outline circle or a fill circle. I'll do an outline one first. So we're going to select the tool and we're going to select a satin outline. It could be a single run outline. It could be any of these outline tools um, that you have available to you. And to create a circle, a perfect circle, you left click and then you drag to the size of circle you want. So I'm just dragging my mouse to the right. You could drag it to the left. You could drag it up, down, doesn't matter. And you left click again um, wherever you want to make the circle however big you want to make the circle so just left click and if you want a perfect circle you hit the enter button and there is your perfect circle I'll just it's in true view I've made a huge one again as you, if we go in we should be able to see I've got outline showing I've got stitches showing ah now I'm in true view there we go. <laughs> Don't know what was happening there. But I have now got my satin circle. Um, just had a little glitch there, but I clicked on my show stitches a couple of times and they came up. So um, if you wanted it fill, a fill circle, you would do exactly the same thing, only you would select the ellipse tool. You would select a fill of your choice from the fills. And so I'll just do a step fill. Left click left click again when you've got the size you want and hit enter okay now if you want an oval it's slightly different so I'll just do one over here so I'm going to left click I'm going to do a filled oval left click left click again to decide the width of your oval now if you go in a straight line your oval will be um, straight up and down and, or, and square on the screen. If you go at an angle, it'll be at an angle. I'll show you both options. Um, to be in a perfectly straight line, hold down your control key and you'll notice that when you move your mouse, it will move in increments of 15 degrees. And so you can actually hold it steady on a horizontal and choose your um, width or length of your oval. So left click to set that. Now you can release your control key and come up so you can make a long thin oval and you can see this is nice and square on the screen. Um, you can't turn it as you make it so you need to to get it perpendicular on the screen and um, you need to hold that control key down. Once you've decided on how long or you want your oval or you could make it shorter and wider it's entirely up to you. you you're choosing this distance of this part of the oval you left click again that sets it and then you hit your enter button. So there's your oval. Now if you want to do it on angle then you would choose your ellipse tool you would left click and just go at an angle so you don't need to hold your control key down left click and now you can see that your oval is going to go on an angle and left click again and then hit enter of course you do have the option of turning these shapes um, we, after you've made them so if I select that oval if I click on it again these um, selection handles will become hollow and there is a circle in the middle which is your center of rotation and that's usually well it is always in the center when you first click you can move that but um, to rotate the oval you just left click on one of the corner handles you'll see a double headed arrow on if you hover over any of these corner handles once you've hovered over corner handle you can left click and you can then rotate your oval if you happen to make it in the wrong direction 
the ro center of rotation can be moved as I said so I could move that down to this bottom corner if I wanted to and then rotate and now it's rotating about that bottom corner you see so um, that's probably about enough about that at the moment I will go into all of these things you can do with your shapes later so that's a circle or an oval okay I'll just undo all of that get back to a blank screen to make a rectangle or a square you choose the rectangle tool and then choose whatever you want a fill or an outline so I'm just going to choose the satin outline again um, to, and then you left click to start you, just a quick left quick click to start your rectangle and then you drag your mouse to wherever you want the shape of the rectangle to be if you want a perfect square you can see now while I'm dragging the cursor is staying in the bottom right corner because I started in the top left corner um, if you want a perfect square just press your control key and you'll see it automatically change to a square and you can move your mouse anywhere it will increase and decrease the size still because you're moving away from or closer to that first left click up in the top left um, but it's maintaining it as a square so when you're happy with the size of your square just left click again and then you can release your control key and there's a perfect square so for the rectangle again it's just choose the tool choose the type of fill or outline you want left click choose the size you want and left click again you don't need to click enter for the squares and rectangles it will automatically generate the stitches on your second left click all of these shapes can be resized and as you saw rotated and moved and all that sort of thing which I will go into later so those are the other two tools that the creator level has the designer plus level has a block digitizing tool as well and open freehand and closed freehand digitizing tools so I will do those in a separate video so that um, if you haven't got designer plus level you don't need to watch that but should you get the uh, upgrade at some stage to the designer plus level they'll be available in this course for you to watch